Hello, good morning. With this presentation today, I would like to share with you the latest developments on Canex IoT and services with Canex. And I will share our view how we believe this will enable new business opportunities for professionals in the sector of smart home and smart buildings. My name is Castor. I'm working at the Canex Association, and I hope you will enjoy this session. To start with, let's think why services with Canex. We've been working on the market. So Canex Association developed the Canex technology already more than 30 years ago. And it evolves to bring what we call services with Canex. And before I explain this concept, I would like to give an overview of how we live these years since it was founded in 1990. When looking at the past, it was a very different scenario if we compare it with today. And of course, it would be when we compare it to next uh, 10 years. In particular, in the past, there was a lack of interoperability. So applications could, or professionals, they could create specific applications according to, to the needs of their customers. But these applications, they used to be actually isolated one to each other. And therefore, imagine if in applications, there were individual silos. So how this was affecting to interoperability between the different applications or even with other technologies that was non-existing. On top of that, devices back then, they did not collect data. Not all of them, actually, just a few of them and only upon requests from the, from the customers in particular. Um, if we also look at the sustainability aspect, if we look at what has been done by uh, in projects to help the world be more sustainable, and to help create more energy efficiency projects, is a subject or that was at that time was a subject that was not really into into the consideration of the customers, neither the customers nor the profession. But that has changed in the last in, in years. Um, today, actually, interoperability is a must. Today, companies, they know, they understand their solutions, their products, they must in, interwork with other products. Otherwise, they're alone. And, Customers say today are asking for one common and one unique solution for them. Besides this, the customers they also request new applications, new solutions to their customers, to their uh, professionals. Example given in the beginning, the professionals they actually used to install more lighting. After some years, they integrated to the light and they integrated also HVAC solutions. After that, they integrated shade control and then access control and so on and so forth. And today, there are new applications coming up. There are new applications that they are a reality already today in the market. Be one example, for instance, uh, the charging of electrical vehicles. People are buying electric vehicles and they want to charge them at home or at the office. And these new applications, they can be integrated into these projects. And today, this is a possibility. At least with our technology, this is possible. And there is no product today that is not able to collect data. It might use this data, it might not, but at least the products are ready to collect information so that they can, uh, they can be analyzed, this information they can use for forecasts or for future use. 
but I will talk about this in a minute. So when we look at the past and we look at today, the change is quite substantial. So there is a big change, but that doesn't stop now. So we understand there is a big change coming up also for the future. And um, if we look at the future, how will this be for professionals, for smart homes, for smart buildings? First of all, we believe there will not be a physical entry barrier between technologies. So technologies will be able to connect to common infrastructure. So that will be really a reality very soon. We believe that our new features will be part of, of products and projects very, very soon, like uh, AI or machine or deep learning. All these features are necessary because they can help to collect information and not just to collect this information, but also to make our systems capable to react, to forecast future scenarios. Um, Self-adaptation is also a very important uh, key subject because there are already pilot projects and real projects where you can uh, experience, for, for instance, working in small buildings with your badge or you don't even need a badge. You have an ID or you can use your, your mobile. You can move along the different areas of the building and the building will be adapting to your needs. And your needs mean my comfort temperature in inside a room might differ from yours. But if we share as a common room, we can get a temperature that is according to our needs. Or the lighting, if I'm working, I will have a different lighting than when I'm reading or when I'm eating. So these are different possibilities that self-adaptation of smart buildings, smart homes, they can offer to their customers in the buildings or to the people that they live in at home, according to who you are. And the security issue will not be an issue anymore. So today we still talk and we have to still convince home and building solutions are secure. Our technology is secure. We have to convince about this today. Today is still a need, but in the future we believe this will be taken for granted and that will not be a problem anymore. So having said this, so how we move from past to the present and to the future is when we can see, uh, we have a clear view and we see that our industry has a very promising future. Um, if I quote the president of, of Kenex, so if I, when I quote him, Franz Kamenex is his name, he always says the future is digitalization. And this is true, it's, just, it's coming, it's there already. And the future is IP and the future is cyber, cyber secure. So we are developing our technology that it can cope with the needs of the market today. We can cope with a IP solution, IP based solution that is cyber secure. And there is no problem with it for the users of, or the customers of the projects or the users of these homes and buildings. Um, for that reason is why some years ago, Canex already started with the development of Kenex IoT. Kenex IoT is the vehicle that enables this evolution. Thanks to Kenex IoT, we are able to deliver now new possibilities to our professionals because with Kenex IoT, now the Kenex system goes full IP and is still backward compatible with the already developed products and technology that we already created 30 years ago. The, uh, we incorporated the semantics, which is a um, universal way of communication between different products. So that when you want to communicate products from one, not only room, but one particular area environment where you are to another one, they can understand each other 
in an universal way. So it's easy and it's open the door to IT experts so that they now don't need to really understand what is the Chemex jargon. So this Chemex specific language and they can simply yes, uh, use and make great or additional configuration to projects based on this semantics. And they are just normal IT experts and not only Chemex professionals, which is very good to open the door to more professionals to work on smart home projects or smart building projects. And thanks to the Chemex IT, it deliver the what we call the services with Chemex. And with services with Chemex. It's actually the good opportunity for you because devices they are not used for one specific feature or domain or application anymore. So they can combine different applications. So you can use sensor for movement, so to switch on lights, for instance, but you could use the same sensor also for presence. So if you are out for the weekend and then there is a break in in your home this sensor could also detect any person coming in or breaking in your house for instance that's just to give an example and all these devices they share functionalities and they are part of an ecosystem they are not working individually anymore so they work together they work together in this ecosystem and thanks to have, or, uh, thanks to this possibility of having one ecosystem, now we can also have communication with external providers, service external service providers, that they can be offering you new possibilities. And this can be either offered by a Canex professional, for instance, your subcontractor who is making your project, or this could be with a company that is offering services for homes, like for example, even that I would mention now in more details, like for instance, like Red Cross offering services to elderly people living in homes. I will mention all of this. But before, now, why like, the advantage of these services with GNX is, is a revolution because it's opening new opportunities for the professionals. And we have the full spectrum is covered now. So Canex deliver and created the infrastructure and the specifications. So thanks to Canex, you have now we deliver these specifications, the technology to the Canex member who can use the technology inside their products and manufacture Canex IoT devices. And with these IoT devices, this Canex products they can be installed into a project and that will be done by the professional and then is how we, we work together and that is how this evolution is coming the professional will work together with the customer to make sure that is this project is making is realizing the needs of the customer and if necessary to outsource services with third-party companies to deliver these services can be done with them or by the professional as i just mentioned before. And to conclude, I would like to mention some real solutions of services with Canex already existing today. Um, one very nice project that I know is a service that Red Cross is offering to a house of elderly people. The Red Cross is monitoring one smart home of a couple that is living in, a, in their home and in case they have for instance any problem health problem or in case they fall to the floor red cross could check what's the situation and help so if one of the persons is, is uh, they can just fall in the corridor to the floor so they can fall to the floor in the corridor the sensor movement will detect that there is someone on the floor for x amount of minutes so it, that can be configured by the professional how long should be considered as a hazard for for the person who is living there and then 
if this person stays there for too long, it can trigger an alarm to the Red Cross so that the Red Cross can immediately make an emergency call to this uh, home and say, okay, so are you fine or have you poor or is there any problem? Then they say everything is all right and there is no issue and then they will, uh, they will be fine. But if there is, if nobody is answering the phone, for instance, they will send someone to check on the, the people living in this home to make sure that everybody is okay. And that is a service with an external service like a Red Cross offering to this family home. Um, there are also digital ecosystems. Digital ecosystems is when we put into the same digital platform, it's a web-based platform, we can put together um, uh, different actors, no? like service providers with users of buildings or users, users of homes. And then they are informing on different, uh, yeah, depending on the, on the use case, they will be informing, for instance, on what is uh, this company that is, a, for instance, a service provider of uh, electricity at home. He can be informing the user of this home. So he can be the owner, can be informing about what will be the tariff in the next week, month, hours so that this user or the system itself could decide which provider to take for the next hours, days, or months. And that can be done on a, on a real time. That is something that is, I've seen some pilot projects about it, and it will come sooner or later. And the most, what I find the most important service with KNX is, it's a very big application, which is energy management. Energy management is not just one specific domain, so it covers the um, uh, possibility to have to make sure that a home will be providing energy into uh, or will be collecting this energy from using renewable source of energy or by their own generated energy that it will nurture for the use of the home according to the needs of the users. So with energy management services and solutions, we can have control of the charging of electrical vehicles. We can have control of the battery storage, storage units at home. We would have the control of the smart grid. So do we need to take energy from the grid or do we, don't, we don't need to? Can we provide or supply energy to the grid? To, sometimes it's also needed. Or is it the home producing the energy with the solar photovoltaic panels, for instance? So if the home is taking also is using energy, so how we can uh, help the system of that is uh, in in an energy management solution, in an energy man management project, there is a customer energy manager that is uh, controlling and monitoring how to use this energy to provide 24 hours best use of energy to the users of this home or the building. And these are just some examples, okay? So if we have, or if you want to read more, so you can, uh, yeah, just visit our solutions, for instance, or visit our, our um, you can see more webinars from us, or visit us at kmx.org, for instance. That's all that I have to say from, uh, from my side. Yeah was nice uh, being here with you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy and see you soon.